everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome to the long hair series. This is the last video, so I thought I would do a more sit down and get chatty with you guys video where I reflect on just three points. The first point being um, why I love having long hair and how I could, like how come I had my hair so long. And the second point is um, to share with you guys a little superstition of mine. I think it's a Chinese origin and um, basically you have to pick a date when you cut your hair. And then um, lastly, I just wanted to share a little bit more about like my thoughts and feeling about donating my hair. And so if this sounds interesting to you guys, keep watching. Okay, so the first part is just about telling you guys why I love having long hair. I think it starts with me having long hair as a child for a really long time. Like I didn't I've always had the longest hair in school until like high school. High school I had short hair, but I didn't like it. And then eventually I just was like, I need to grow it back out. And I like having long hair because it's kind of like a security blanket literally in the sense that like, if I'm not happy with my outfit, I feel like I can bring my clothes down or my hair down and like cover myself. And then also like, I just feel like long hair is a little more curly and sweet and um, also like with short hair I look like my face looks a little rounder and then um, I also really like it this is like just a personal weirdness part but I really like it because if um, you smell something bad on the street you can like pull it and cover your nose with it and then you don't have to smell anything and shampoo always smells good so I mean it's just little things and I just I feel like I am more suitable for long hair so how can I have it so long I don't know like it really didn't feel like a hassle to me because I love it so much like a lot of my hair friends who have shorter hair they're like I can't even stand when my hair gets past like my neck it's so hot in the summer but I think just because it was such a big part of my identity and my style that like it didn't bother me um, I guess that's why like when I cut my hair and even though it's still pretty long like I decided to go get the um, tips dyed and stuff because I still wanted my hair to be like a part of my style and my identity so that kind of just sums up why I love having long hair and like I guess hair is just really important to me <laughs> okay so this next part is a little bit more weird so like if you're not very um, into superstitions you might just think I'm crazy which perhaps I am but um, Basically, when I had long hair, I started having long hair again, like around college and like at that point I was still trimming it and at one point it just like I didn't have time to go get my hair done and it was so long that it was basically almost at my waist and my mom's friend was like, you should cut your hair now because if it goes past your waist, you have to which means count the days. And um, I was like what and she's like yeah like if it grows past your waist it's bad luck to cut it unless you like pick a date and I was like really and then um, I started looking into it a little bit and then eventually like I did cut my hair at that point but then later on I started growing it and my, my friends and family were just like your hair is so long you should grow it to donate but I I was I was really inspired to donate my hair but I knew that like when I donated my hair at that point at that length like maybe just under the boobs um, if I cut it my hair would be shorter than I wanted and so I was like no I need to grow it longer and so at that point it had to grow past my waist so then I did I did pick a date and like I really firmly believe in it because when I was 12 years old I had hair past my waist I cut it without picking a date because I was American I didn't know you have to pick a date and um, I had the worst year ever at all and I did pick a date and how you do that is you can just google it i'm not sure if it'll google in english so like in chinese i just typed up um like gentle which is cutting hair and picking a date in chinese and then it pops up an article and then you can print out the entire like year's calendar um yeah so basically i picked a date um none of the december dates worked for me so i picked a date in november and that's when i cut my hair and then um, I did the whole donating process, which will lead me to my next um, topic. So donating my hair was a really 
cool experience. I think, especially because my hair was so long, everybody was really excited with me. And even before going in, like I made the, I picked the day I made my appointment at my friend's salon, but I got nervous. Like I was so nervous. Like I was like, why am I doing this? I don't want to cut my hair. This is my identity. And after cutting it, I was still kind of like, dude, my hair is gone. Like it's, and to donate, you tie it in a ponytail. If you guys didn't see my um, hair donate or hair cutting process, you guys should go watch it. But it comes in a ponytail and I was just like holding it like, oh my goodness. But then I thought like, you know, like that didn't hurt me at all. I got to be with this hair for all this time. And now like this hair is going, that I love so much, is going to go to a child who needs it more than I do. And it can boost their confidence and just make them feel a little bit better about themselves. Like it's just horrible that like cancer in general is horrible and to think that children who didn't go through so much in life and who just like were born and then like they find out they have this, like it's so horrible. And if I can just make them feel a little bit better about themselves, despite all the hardships that they're going through, that really feels great. And that also inspires me to like in 2019 to do more like um, donation type things or volunteering because it just felt really great to know that like one little thing that I did that didn't cost me like a lot of effort can really make a difference and I really encourage people if you guys have the possibility to donate your hair to do it um, or just like I'm there's so many ways you can give back and I just feel like it's it feels really great so I just wanted to be sure to touch up on that um, in this long hair series because the whole like inspiration for the long hair series was the fact that I was going to cut my hair to donate it and so this is I guess just really important so um, definitely go watch my donating video so you guys can see the whole process um, I would watch the cutting hair and the donating like both because they kind of go hand in hand so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'm looking forward to making more videos in 2019. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you guys next time. Oh, uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a comment. And if you liked um, my series, then be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'm new to this, but I'm really excited. I watch a lot of YouTube, so I think we can be best friends already. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.